Well, uh, the Bud Festival is uh, the B, B film, U, U from underground, and the T from the trash. Uh, the project is called Aesthetic Meatfront and I'm Luis Fleischhauer, the brain behind it. We, we have this year a lot of guests from, from our festival. Uh, of course, John Walters, who will arrive on uh, Friday, and he will stay on Sunday. Uh, these are the kind of film festivals I started in, so it's really great people say to me, are you being honored at the Buck Film Festival? I say, no, I'm being dishonored. That's even better. The Bud Festival stands for uh, a B Underground and Trash Film Festival. Uh, what makes Bud so special is that it's not only about the films but about everything. You know, we have the artworks and the performances and uh, it's like a big family as Paul and Doreen says. <laughs> But it's more than only film, but it's also art and uh, performance in, in the same but style. Why did you, why did you uh, come up with the idea of the dominatrix uh, situation? I mean, it's one of those things where I, you know, I didn't, I didn't sit down and say, here's the thing I want to say, and here's the best way to say it. Uh, I just knew that I liked that, that idea. Um, there's a Paul Bartel short called The Naughty Nurse. It's a very simple thing. I knew I wanted to do something about a nurse who was also a dominatrix. Uh, her, my friend's wife is a dominatrix and should come to New York and meet with her. This year is a four, our fourth edition, and so we are very pleased we can announce for next year the fifth, the first uh, anniversary of, uh, edition. Uh, the theme of this year is uh, monster art. You will see a lot of uh, monsters in movies uh, passing by during the festival. Joshua, who are you and what do you do? <laughs> That's a very good question. I did, I'm still trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Raise that camera, bad angle. <laughs> My age. Up. Up. No, no, no. <laughs> I think you should make all the horror films that are here sing-along versions. Every film should be turned into a sing-along one. Imagine that would we'll be like. I mean, he didn't walk around and drag. Mm -hmm. I think maybe three or four times in my life, 
before we made movies, I saw him in drag. And he would dress as Elizabeth Taylor. That was his idol. Was he his picked idol. up a girl on a date dressed like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> what did she think? What did her parents think? Mm -hmm. Mother, I'd like you to meet my date. And we, about 25 years after that, Divine and I were doing a talk show, and Divine whispered to me, oh my God, a girl, my girlfriend from high school's in the audience. <laughs> and then she came up, and then they became friends again. And I saw her at the funeral. I saw her, and she's the widow Divine. <laughs>